Zastal Gra, witamy Państwa w kolejnym odcinku naszego programu. We wtorek rywalizacja z BMS nam stanął Ostrów Wielkopolski. Przypominamy na początek oczywiście o konkursie. Prosimy o udostępnienia dla tych, którzy to zrobią. Przewidziane są bilety na to spotkanie, a naszym pierwszym dzisiejszym gościem jest Joe Thomason. Hello Joe, how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? Fine. Uh, how are you feeling after uh, game against Unix? Uh, we talk about this game after this game, but uh, I repeat uh, the question, what is your opinion now? Um, maybe a little bit cool after the game, you know. Yeah. Uh, my opinion on this game is just, you know, the game is behind us. We're ready to move forward and focus on tomorrow's game. You know, unfortunately, we lost. We never want to lose, but it's behind us. It's nothing that we could do. I feel like that we we fought for majority of the game, and we never gave up. So, you know, unfortunately, that we lost, but it's behind us. We're ready to move forward and get ready for tomorrow's game. Okay. Uh, Win uh, Stelmet in uh, Krasnoyarsk uh, was a little bit surprised. Uh, Lude Hakanson in radio interview mm -hmm. said after this game that Stelmet aims to play off in VTV. What is your opinion about uh, opinion Lude? This is my teammate. This is we have the same goals. You know, he wants to get to the playoffs. I want to get to the playoffs. The coaching staff want to get to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. My team members want to get to the playoffs. So everybody's on the same page. Um, we feel like we have a chance to do this. And uh, we feel like that we got a special group here. You know, if we stay connected and stay combined, you know, we want to get to the VTV playoffs for sure. Okay. How do you how do you describe the atmosphere? Was which is in <laughs> instead of it's <laughs> I, I love it here, honestly. You know, I love the atmosphere. I love trying to do everything I can to engage with the fans and engage with the children that come to the games. You know, I feel like they do a great job of supporting us, whether we win or lose. And, you know, in a lot of different places, you don't get that. It's either they love you or they hate you. And here, they support you. And this is this is what's big for me and my teammates. So, me personally, I love the atmosphere here. Okay. Mm -hmm. How uh, Joe Thomason's uh, body react to trips in Fall TV? For example, to Krasnoyarsk, Krasnoyarsk, very far from Jelanagora. Yes, sir. I mean, it's different. It's difficult. But at times, you know, our coaching staff, They do a great job in managing our bodies. They do a great job in planning and detailing the trips out to make sure we get as much rest as we need. So I give them a lot of credit, but it's difficult. You know, the, sometimes the flights are smaller than the normal. You know, we tall, we got a lot of tall players. So sometimes we all can't get the XRO row seats. So sometimes the travel was a little bit tough, but nothing that we can't handle. You know, this is our job, so we don't complain. We blessed to be able to fly all over the countries in different regions, so okay. I, lo I love it. Okay, tomorrow the game against uh, Stahl, do you know this team? Maybe this team has a little bit changed, yeah. but what do you, uh, what can you say about uh, Stahl Ostrov? Um, I know we played them earlier in the season, we went there and we won, which is something that Stelman haven't done, I believe, in a while, you know, winning at, they, at, at their home place, so we feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we feel confident. I'm sorry, not comfortable. We feel confident in our abilities. And, you know, we don't really know too much about, you know, the, the, the roster changes because of we focus on every game when we get there. So today we watch film and, you know, we break down the details and we get ready. What is the aims? If we talk about aims in VTB, so now what is the aim? Uh, what is the target cell team? Uh, I think everybody, title of course of course I mean this is what we play for you know um, at the beginning of the season a lot of people didn't expect us to be where we was mm -hmm. so every day we take that and we use that as motivation every day you know we, we, we remember when we lost our first four games of the season and everybody counted us out and everybody said that we wasn't good enough so now it's just like we want to win a championship. Everybody on my team wants to win a championship, starting with the head, starting with the big dog from to the last person on the bench. You know, this is our this is our aspirations. This is what we want to do. But we don't we, we're not looking forward to the championship. Okay. We take it day by day, but we want to be in the championship for sure. Okay, we talked about the atmosphere and I think about yourself because um, sometimes you um, you have to a very um, emotional reaction. Yes, sir. Uh, during the game, you know yes, sir. Uh, what, what I mean. Uh, it is um, something like, do you plan or, or what? And do you love this, this reaction 
for example, when you uh, step on the on the uh, table yeah. during one of one of the game. I mean, it's <laughs> just I don't plan anything. Fans, I just uh, sorry, fans. I uh, uh, love this this reaction. I just play with passion. I'm a passionate person in everything that I do. If I love it, if I love someone, if I love something, I'm very passionate, and I'm. I, that's just me, you know. I want to give it. I want to give it my all. I don't. I never want to. Anything that I love, I want to give it my all. So basketball, of course, is something one of the biggest things in my life. So, like I said, I'm blessed to be able to play, and I I want these Stelman fans to know that you know, I don't take anything for granted. I go out there every day, whether I shoot two for 14 from the field, I'm gonna play as hard as I can for them, offensively and defensively. So. My reactions are just based off my passion, how I'm feeling at that time. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but at least they know that I'm engaged in the basketball game. You know what I mean? So that's big for me. Thank you very much Thank for you. conversation, Joe. Yes, sir. Naszym gościem był Joe Thomason, a teraz oczywiście w naszym programie czas dla trenera Mariusz Niedbalski o Stali Ostrów. Ostrów się bardzo zmienił, drużyna z Ostrowa się bardzo zmieniła. Wymienili trenera, wymienili kilku zawodników. Ostatnie, ostatnie wyniki tego zespołu świadczą o tym, że, że zespół gra dużo lepiej. Wygrana z Toruniem u siebie, wygrana w Warszawie, wysoka, bardzo wysoka, blisko 30-punktowa. Przegrana dwoma punktami z Anwilem. Jeżeli spojrzeć na, 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 na zespół, na metrykę urodzenia, jest to jeden z bardziej doświadczonych zespołów w lidze. J3 31 lat, Jackson 35 lat. Filip Dylewicz, Łukasz Wiśniewski, a oni naprawdę wiedzą jak grać w koszykówkę i tutaj na pewno nie ma mowy o lekceważeniu tego rywala. Na zakończenie naszego programu mamy dla Państwa jeszcze coś specjalnego. Mamy rozmowę krótką, co prawda, z nowym zawodnikiem z Telmetu NIBC Zielona Góra, George'em Kingiem. Pytaliśmy, dlaczego w zasadzie zdecydował się na przenosiny do Zielonej Góry, ale nie tylko o tym sami Państwo posłuchajcie George King i to będzie już ostatnia pozycja w cudzysłowie w naszym programie. Why did you decide to join to Selma Jelona Gura? Well, um, there was a great opportunity for myself here. Um, it's a high level league and uh, I want to help them, uh, 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 us, get to where uh, the playoffs, the deep run in the playoffs. So. Mm -hmm. What was the key, your decision? Uh, main, the key, main reason? Yeah, the key decision was basically the system of how they play here. Um, coach uh, was very clear on how he wanted things to be done and uh, his tactics um, and so there was something and I could tell from you know asking around that you know the type of coach he was is a you know type of coach that I respond well to mm -hmm. as a player okay. so um, again um, it was just a great opportunity for myself. Okay. How did you recall the time in Trento? How do I recall the time in, yeah. uh, in Trento? Time in Trento you know. Yeah Trento was, was good uh, another great organization unfortunately um, it didn't work out though. Okay. Mm, what did you expect uh, from from performance in Zielona Góra? What, did you, what do you expect uh, in Zielona Góra in Stalmet Polish League? What maybe, do I maybe expect? You, yeah. What do you expect? Um, maybe maybe you hear any, anything or Polish League? I hear something. Maybe you hear anything about Polish League from other players? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I'm in touch with uh, Cody Justice. He 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 played here last year, and, yeah. I, and I know mm -hmm. Gabe Devoe. Um, but uh, you said, what is what do I hear from other players? I mean, they just they told me about the organization a little bit here, but that was it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm afraid I'm not getting what you want me to, what you're trying to ask out of me. Mm, uh, okay, so I repeat the question. What do you what do you expect in Jelanagura? The battle of um, the. So I come I come here I come here with. Uh, you know, um, I don't want to say high expectations or anything like that, but you know, I just come here to, to play basketball. I okay. expect to play, play the game and, and, and do what I love to do.